Hey there YouTube, this is SGM4306, uh, back with the second episode of my uh, modified uh, DMG Game Boy backlight. And this uh, episode will cover adding the, the backlight module um, and uh, inserting the polarizing filter and whatnot, so hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so we're back at it again, and um, this time I'm going to show you uh, where did I put one of the screws I'm already losing stuff oh jeez anyway so yeah um this is the the original Game Boy DMG well the Play It Loud series that I got um that I showed you in a past video and so I showed you before how to remove the polarizing filter so now I'll show you how to uh, put in the backlight this is an RGB backlight I got it from Handheld Legend um comes with the resistors the uh, multicolor wire as well as the backlight itself. You have to solder this on um, the actual, uh, it's like a ribbon cable. There we go. So yeah, you can see um, it's just kind of a flat flex cable. And what's really neat is you don't have to make any cuts now because it, that uh, ribbon's so thin. So you can just kind of slide this in, careful not to scratch anything. And it just sort of sits in there now. So that is really, really cool. So one thing that I will do um, before I actually get this in is take some electrical tape and insulate the wires uh, because I do not want anything shorting out. Also, it'll make it a little more robust so they don't break free. Okay, so now they're actually insulated. We can take this and uh, just carefully slide her in. There we go. <clears throat> and now we have the polarizing filter. Uh, we're just going to remove the protective film. I'm trying to do this without getting any dust on it. He says as he probably got a whole bunch of dust on it. <laughs> Okay. Wait. Oh. For some reason this one side had like three layers on it. So I'm just gonna remove all of it. Okay, we should be good to go. So I'm going to put this in inverted. So you can see that uh, as I twist it, it changes color slightly. So here's normal, here's inverted, uh, because I'm going to be doing the biversion mod. Okay. Everything is in there. Those seem to be a little bit thick. <laughs> Make sure we get all the dust out. There we go, just wasn't seated properly. Okay, so now we're just gonna put the screws in, of which I already can't find one. <laughs> just to hold the uh, ribbon cable down um actually let me route these wires around if I can now I guess they're gonna kinda have to go I don't like this and off to the side where the heck did that screw go seriously I'm always losing screws Let me just move this. I literally had it a second ago. Okay, I'm going to have to dig around and find that screw. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, I literally have no idea where the hell that screw went. It was on my desk one second, and I look away for a second, and it's it's gone. So I'm probably going to find it like a week later randomly. 
So anyway, yeah, that pisses me off a little bit. Uh, let's see, how can I get this? Uh, I'm just going to bend these wires kind of over to the side here. Kind of get as much dust as I can out of the way. Come on. These in, and we're just going to plop her down. Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! It was stuck to the magnet on the speaker. Oh my goodness, I hate you. I hate you so much. Okay, well, at least I didn't lose it then. That would have bothered me. Even though it's not critical. Um, still would have bothered me. Okay. So now, with the mystery of the... Uh, the missing screw complete. Let's uh, kind of route all these wires around. Try to avoid. Let's see. If I route this above, there we go. Then it can kind of sit like that. There. Yeah, I'm planning on um, replacing the lens with the glass lens anyway, so not too big of a deal. This one's kind of scratched up. So I'm just going to get the rest of the screws in. Okay, so we're all plugged in. I put the uh, polarizing filter in. I put the backlight in. It was the magic moment, which I find out if I just wasted uh, the money on the actual screen. Um, so let's carefully... Turn this on. I can already see the Nintendo logo. So let's see. So I just took a. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, it looks like um. Oh, that's actually on the back. Like there's like a little hair there. But uh, yeah, the contrast. Not great. Not gonna lie. But uh, that's kind of normal. But uh. I don't know if you can see if my fingers can uh, actually connect it. Yeah, you can still see the image there. Um, that looks okay in real life. Um, I mean, I can tweak the contrast a little bit. Um, so that's it, non-inverted. Now if I take the uh, polarizing filter, so the, the screen still works, that's a really good sign. If I take this and I rotate it 90 degrees, you can see the inverted image there. If it'll focus, there we go. It actually looks really nice. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do the bivert mod now. But yeah, you can see it was pretty easy. This was my first time uh, removing the backlight filter and whatnot on the uh, on this model of Game Boy. And I gotta say, it was actually quite a bit easier than the pocket. The pocket was a pain to do, and I've done it like three or four times. Uh, so yeah, you can see the screen still works. Um, there are different colors, RGB for this, so I'm going to do what I did for my uh, other pocket, make a little controller um, that can digitally control the RGB backlight so I can select different colors and whatnot at will. Yeah, if you guys um, like the progress on, on what I've been doing with this Game Boy, I'll leave some comments down below. Um, yeah, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.